Hello and welcome back to another weekend website course tutorial. I will really quickly, if you're watching this video on YouTube, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to display the last updated date in your WordPress blog post. Right now, I'm currently on a blog post on the weekend website course. And if we scroll down the page a little bit, then you will see a date that says last updated March 2nd, 2022. So every time this post is updated, or modified in any type of way, it is going to update this post date. Now, why is this even important? So have you ever Googled something and there are some dates that come up? So right now it's currently March of 2022, but you're looking for this topic and you see someone that has a recent uh, blog post date from March 2nd, 2022. And then you see another article that's from maybe two or three years ago. So you're most inclined to click on the article that has that's been updated most recently recently. So just one of the examples why the last updated date in a blog post is important because people are going to want to see the most updated information about an article, especially if they're Googling things. Um, this is also something with news sites, sometimes news sites, they will post an article about something and then there's new developments, new media to be added, and they want to show that that's updated. So that's some of the reasons why you will want to use last updated date in your blog post. But now I'm going to show you how to do that with Elementor. So I'm going to go over to the back end of the website, back to the WordPress dashboard. And for my blog post, I actually use the theme builder for Elementor to style or create the style and the layout for the post so that way I can write my post in Gutenberg. I don't have to worry about any of the styling and the theme builder is actually what's putting everything where it needs to go. So I'm going to go over to uh, Elementor and went over to the templates and then I'm going to click on theme builder. Okay. So this is going to be under my single post type. Um, so one of the things I really love about Elementor is the fact that I can um, have a different post type or a single post uh, for whatever I want. So for example, this is all general blog posts. If I have a video tutorial, I have a slightly different look for that, but that's just something else I just wanted to bring up that I like about Elementor. But I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit. All right, so as you can see, this page is already styled like I want to. So if you're doing this from scratch, Elementor does have some great blog post templates, but this is just something that you can use to uh, just add a little bit of an extra effect. So if you want to, or I'm sorry, scroll down the page a little bit and you'll see last updated. So all that I did with this, it was very simple. This is actually the text editor. So I'm going to uh, do the same exact thing, but I'm just going to use the text editor again. So. Go back to all the modules here. And I'm gonna click on, I'm gonna add another text editor box to this area. All right, so what you wanna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the information because that's not needed. I'm gonna click on this dynamic tags area. And what I'm going to do, I'm looking for last modified. I believe that's the the name of that date. Uh, let me see your post date. Okay, there we are. So when you click on post date, uh, you want to click on post modify. If you click on post publish, it's going to leave that static date. So whatever date you published it on, it's going to leave it there with post modified. Anytime it's post is updated, it's going to automatically update this post. So I'm going to click on post modify. And then it's going to ask what format that you want to put that up in. Um, so that's pretty custom if you want to put the the in the US I would say the month the day and then of course the year so that's the default setting so the date looks great there but it has no context so now we want to actually add some context to it context to it so when we click on advanced um, so here you'll have just some ways you can put some text before or you can put it after so we want to put this text before and we want to say less updated I like to put my uh, colon and give it some space. And just like that, so going forward, every time this post is updated, since I have this dynamic area inside of the post, I'm gonna go ahead and update the date on that blog post. Um, if you are satisfied with how everything looks, I'm just gonna delete this because I don't need it right now because I already have one. Go ahead and click on update. 
And very simply, that is how you add last updated to your WordPress blog post using Elementor. I hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. See you next time.